a look at the high flow pump kit. Uh, this is how it'll come when you order it. It's disassembled. Um, <clears throat> this is the unmounted high flow pump kit with the five gallon tank, which comes standard. So this will come with one of these sure flow pressure sensing pumps. This is our high flow version. It's a 3.3 GPM versus, I think it's a 1.2 on the other one. Um, as you can see, this has half inch male pipe thread input and output. Um, what we're gonna do here is uh, just look through the parts and show how they go together. Um, probably the first thing to do is look at the pump itself. Uh, so the pump will have a directional arrow on the top. Uh, in this case, you can see them here and here. A little hard to see in this light. But if you're looking at it this way, the flow is gonna go in this direction. Um, if there's a little bit of water in your pump, don't worry about it. Uh, there's, these pumps are all tested before they're sent out at the factory, so they have, do have a tiny bit of water in them. Um, they're pressure tested in the factory. So uh, you're going to need to wire your pump. You're going to have three wires here. There's uh, probably a million places on the internet to learn how to put on a wire nut, but you're going to use um, this included uh, three prong lead and, and these three wires and these wire nuts that come in this bag to do that assembly. Um, they're pretty straightforward. They just, uh, again, very easy to find that video on the internet. <clears throat> Uh, the other parts we're looking at are, are the intake and the filter. Um, this piece here with the T mounted in the middle, uh, that's going to be for your pressure tank. And then you're going to have various components for um, hooking up to a reservoir. For instance, this is a bulkhead fitting uh, with some connection points. Um, you can drill a hole in any kind of uh, you know, barrel or plastic bin or bucket, whatever you want, insert this and use the washer and the nut here to uh, tighten down and make an easy to use um, bulkhead. Uh, these bulkheads on the outside are three quarter inch uh, hose threads, so that's your standard hose thread fitting. On the inside though, they're half inch pipe thread. So connected to this bulkhead fitting, um, we can use a bunch of different fittings, but in general, we're able to screw this directly into that bulkhead fitting. Um, from there, this tube will connect to the filter. Uh, your filter is going to connect to the pump. You don't want to over tighten these. Everything's plastic. So you just want to do a, just a hand tight and that's it. Because if you over tighten it, something in here is going to crack and then you're going to be sad. Um, this piece will fit onto here. Again, just hand tightening. And this is going to go into your reservoir via this bulkhead fitting. <clears throat> From here, we're going to um, take this piece and attach this half inch uh, union this side. It's going to again connect here. Usually Okay. If you find that this is sliding, you can use a screwdriver to tighten these uh, hose clamps up a little bit. Here's the part that will connect to your pressure tank. Um, these pressure tanks will either come with a quarter inch fitting or a three quarter inch fitting, and there should be an included bushing to help them match up. You don't want to use this and then screw on your pressure tank. This. And this will add the uh, pressure accumulator tank portion uh, to the setup. And then this is going to be your outflow here. 
Um, <clears throat> from here, we can tack on one of these uh, adapters to go from half inch pipe thread to uh, three quarter inch hose thread. And then you can stick a pressure reducer on there or you can run it into half inch polyline or whatever you want and then reduce down later. Uh, but basically, you know, here's your components of the system. You have your <clears throat> water intake, filter, pump, pressure accumulator tank, and pressure reducer. If you want, you can come off of this and go straight into any kind of like hose fitting, um, like this one. It's just a swivel elbow. If you were gonna run like half inch poly tubing, and then eventually you can have a fitting to come straight into your pressure reducer or multiple pressure reducers along the line.